responsible for the development of the system is General Bernard Schriever, commander of the Air Force Systems Command, General Schriever. Ladies and gentlemen, as all of you know, there's been a great deal of work already done on the X-20 program. Uh, years of study and research have preceded the design of this particular vehicle. As Dr. Cherrick pointed out, the X-15 has been a very worthy forerunner the X-20. We're now proceeding with the development of the Titan III, which will be a standardized space booster, which will boost the X-20 into space. No matter how much we say about hardware and black boxes, the success of the X-20 program, just as the X-15, will depend in a large measure on the skill and courage of the men who will actually fly the vehicle. The six men designated as X-20 pilots are here today. They're highly trained, carefully selected, and skilled experimental pilots with impressive background in flight testing. I'd like to point out that these men have been intimately involved in the X-20 development program for several years and have made important technical inputs to the design of the complete X-20 vehicle. We're very honored to have the X-20 pilots with us today. I would like to introduce them to you. And I think that I'll say a few words about each as far as their background is concerned so that you will understand the real competence and capability of these men. First, Major James Wood. He's an experimental test pilot and assistant chief of flight, fighter operations at the flight test center at Edwards. Graduated from the Institute of Technology in 1956 with a bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering. He is also a graduate of the U.S. Experimental Flight Test School. I take a very, very great pleasure in introducing Next, Major Henry C. Gordon. Major Gordon is also an experimental test pilot at the Air Force Flight Test Center. Major Gordon attended Purdue University, where he earned his bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering. He's also a graduate of the Experimental Flight Test School in 1957. I might, have, might add now that all of these gentlemen here are married, and they all have children. I think their wives are here, but I don't know whether they're in the audience here today. Major Gordon uh, happens to have four children. Major Gordon. Major Russell Rogers. Major Rogers is also an experimental test pilot at the Air Force Flight Test Center at Edwards Air Force Base. He flew 142 missions during the Korean conflict. He has a bachelor's degree in aeronautical engineering, and he's also a graduate of the Experimental Flight Test School in 1958. He and his wife reside at Edwards, and they have four children. Major Rogers. <laughs> Sh 
show you that we're not partial in the Air Force. We have with us today Milton O. Thompson from the NASA. During uh, World War II, Mr. Thompson served as a lieutenant in the U.S. Navy. So you see we have both a Navy and a NASA representative. He received a B.S. degree in civil engineering and he's been in the flight test business for a long time and has flown many research and operational aircraft. He's married and also has four children. Glad to have you. <laughs> Captain William J. Knight, experimental flight test pilot at the Air Force Flight Test Center. Also a graduate of the Air Force Institute of Technology and has a bachelor's degree in mathematics. He's also a graduate of the test pilot school, experimental test pilot school, and he's qualified, he's a qualified pilot in all of our Century Series aircraft. He and his wife live at Edwards and have two children. Captain Albert Cruz, Jr. Experimental flight test pilot at the Air Force Flight Test Center. And he is also attending the second class of the Aerospace Research Pilots course at Edwards, which was established last year. He has a degree in chemical engineering from LSU, or Southwestern Louisiana Institute, I'm sorry. And he earned a master's degree at the Institute of Technology. I know that we in the Air Force are proud of these gentlemen. We're proud to have a NASA representative with us in the dinosaur program.